So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSC and A-level maths videos. And this video is about solving equations using graphs. And when we're talking about equations, sorry, we're talking about simultaneous equations. And you probably know how to solve simultaneous equations using the old algebraic way, you know, possibly adding or taking away the equations or maybe substituting one equation into the other. Okay, but this is using graphs and this is really simple because where the two, uh, basically you can make, an, a, make a graph out of this, there you go, they might have even drawn the graph for you, okay, and uh, make the graph of this so maybe you're given that graph as well possibly and simply to solve them is where the two lines cross so you get a coordinate where the two lines cross and uh, so that coordinate is 2 1 so uh, basically that just means uh, the answer is x equals 2 and y equals 1 and you can check those answers out substitute x equals 2 and y equals 1 into there and you'll see it works for both of the graphs both of the equations Right, and uh, number two, equation number, two, uh, sorry, uh, example number two, right, uh, you've got two graphs, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3 and y equals 0, which is just the x-axis really, okay, and it says solve this, okay, what, solve x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0, well, going back to this idea here, it means you have to solve these two simultaneous equations, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3 and y equals 0. And how do you solve uh, this kind of simultaneous equations when you've got a quadratic basically? You basically, you should be using uh, the substitution way, although sometimes there are ways of using the elimination method for this kind of situation. But anyway, substitution means that you replace that y equals 0. Uh, well, since y equals 0, you can replace this y with a 0. So it becomes 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 3, which is the same as that. Okay, so to solve these two simultaneous equations, you have to find when the two lines cross, which is here and there. x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 1, as it says here. Okay, but we weren't told to solve these two simultaneous equations. We were told to solve this simultaneous equation and it's not even sim simultaneous okay so um, how do you solve this well we said solving this is the same as solving this okay and so if we solve this we solve these and uh, vice versa if we solve this we solve this and we have solved this we've already said x equals minus 3 and minus 1 is the solution to when these two lines cross which is the solution to this which is that Right. Sometimes I think I over explain these things. But anyway, just listen carefully. It's not all that complicated. Again, we've got to solve another quadratic equation. Okay. And again, that means this is y equals x squared minus 6x six plus 6. And this is y equals 1. And when the two lines cross is the answer to this, symbol, this equation, basically. Okay, and where did the two lines cross? Uh, x equals 1 and x equals 5. We record that, and that is our answer. Um, it's worth saying that there's no y in this question, so there should be no y in the answer. Uh, same as in this case, yeah? There's no y, sorry, uh, there's no y in the question here, um, so there's no y in the answer there right and uh, what else can I say I could say there's a like there's a really small odd chance that they'll mess this question around a little bit for you A star students right and it'll say something like x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0 and uh, if they give you these two graphs they sort of expect you to use those two graphs okay so if you've got x squared minus 6x plus 6 here and you've got a plus 5 here they can't be used together unless you do some clever tricks. For example, if that was a 5 instead of a 6, I'd, I'd make it a 6. I'd say x squared minus 6x six, uh, plus 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5, you see? So I haven't really changed the question. And that minus 1 can jump to the other side and equal 1. So you've got x squared minus 6x six, plus 6 equals 1, which is the same as solving x squared minus 6x six, six plus... F uh, what was it? Um, 
plus five equals zero. That's what I said at the beginning. Okay, so we just messed around with it a little bit, and as I said before, where the two lines cross are, where our answers are. So we've already talked about that. 